Hey everyone, Don Smith here, and today I want to take you through the newest upgrade to the Luminar software. It's just released, and it is called Luminar Neptune. And before we get to it, I'm going to show you some samples. Uh, I want to show you where to find it on my website so you can get a discount. And you would just land on my homepage here, www.donsmithphotography.com. Come on down here to the discounts and affiliations link and you just click right here on Luminar Neptune and there are different deals depending on what you want to get. Just scroll through and um, I think after you see this video, you may want to go grab yourself a copy. Now, this is Mac version only. However, the folks at uh, McFun are telling me that this fall, it is going to be available for all you PC users out there also. So let's jump over here into Photoshop. The great thing about Luminar is it is a standalone program. It is also a plug-in filter for Lightroom and it is a plug-in filter for Photoshop. So I just thought it would be easier to show you the demonstration in Photoshop. It's going to work the same across uh, as to whether you're doing it in the standalone or in Lightroom, but this just may be a little quicker for the video. And I'm going to start with this first picture. Now, I had just returned from a week of shooting up in the beautiful Palouse area of eastern Washington. I had never been there before. It's an amazing place. Uh, look for a possible workshop announcement out of me coming in 2018. And that's all I'll say for now. Uh, if you want to be added to my uh, monthly e-newsletter, if you're not getting this via my e-newsletter, send me an email at don at donsmithphotography.com and just put on there you want to be added to the monthly e-newsletter. I do these how-to tips once a month. All right, let's jump on in to uh, Luminar Neptune and I'm going to show you uh, what I'm really excited about and again I'm working in Photoshop so I would come up here to filter McFun Luminar and we will allow the user interface to open up here now in this newest version and this is what I'm really excited to be showing you um, in the past, I've showed you some presets. As you can see, they're going to line up down here on the bottom. And one I really liked was down here, this image enhancer. It's kind of a one-click uh, type of um, application. And then you can, you know, go up or down with the opacity amount. But that's not really what I want to show you today. So I'm going to um, delete this layer. And let me just see if I can... Get the layer out of there no i can't okay but what i want to do let's come over here where it says add filter and you can see there is a new filter in here called accent ai filter and ai stands for artificial intelligence and as far as i know this is the first third-party filter that is really done with artificial intelligence and don't ask me how they did it this is just pure genius so I've got this picture open. Obviously, it's kind of flat light. And I'm just going to take the slider and I'm going to start sliding it to the right. And I'm just going to pull it all the way over. And wham, we've got a picture that uh, let's come up here. And you can just kind of see the difference of what it's done. It's pretty amazing. That's a before and after. I can go back and just hold down on the little eye and release it. It's absolutely amazing. Now. There's other filters I can add. I'd like to bring out some of the warmth I saw down here in this dirt. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add a golden hour filter. And I'm just going to bump it in a little. And look at the difference again from where we started as a raw file to where we've come in two simple clicks. Okay, so let's go through and check out a couple more here. All right, let's move into this next one. This is a beautiful canola field um, that you find in various areas of the Palouse. They're, they're not as evident as you might think, uh, but they're really gorgeous when you can contrast them against a blue sky and we got some nice clouds in on this particular day. 
So let's see what uh, the artificial intelligence filter can pick up on this. So I'm going to simply come on over and click add a filter. And by the way, you can see some of these are highlighted and some aren't. If I wanted to, let's say black and white conversion was my thing, I just click on that star and that would just make it jump out at me. I'm not going to do that, but these are the filters I use on a regular basis. So let's just take the artificial intelligence, crank it up, back it down, crank it up, kind of like what I'm seeing at 100. Uh, let's add a little bit. Uh, I'm going to come down here and add a little bit of gold, and I don't think I'm going to add a whole lot. Yeah, you can see that's going over the top, so I'm kind of backing this down. It's all just sort of visual, okay? And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to see if I can sharpen this up. They even add a sharpening filter in here um, right there. You can see it has the typical amount, radius, and masking. So let's go ahead and bring the amount up. And we're going to just mask that sky off a little bit. And there we go. We've got that. I've got one more I may even want to try here. Let me come on over to the polarizing filter. Now I tug on these quite a bit just to see what they're doing. And I just want to give a little kind of bump to the sky and the clouds up there. Okay, I have a little dust bunny up there. If, uh, you know, you're not working in a uh, another, oh, let's say Lightroom. Let's say you were just working in this as a standalone. Okay, because I think we have better clone tools inside of Photoshop and Lightroom, but I could come on over and I'm just going to set, you know, an option click and come on over and click. And there we go. Okay, so let me hit cancel and we're going to get out of this picture and we'll cancel it again. All right, a couple more I want to show you very quickly here. I'll let that render out. Okay, kind of a dull shot. This was early in the morning. We, we had one morning where it had rained a lot overnight. We didn't get a lot of good lighting the next morning. Um, so let's go up and see what, oops, excuse me, the wrong one here, um, what Luminar can do with this. Uh, I think you're going to be really amazed by this one. Now again, these are taking me literally a minute or less to, to do a full bore, ready to go, outputted file. So let's come on over. We're going to add the filter. We're going to add our artificial intelligence. Look at that. It knows to darken the sky down and it knows to lighten up the foreground. And now, obviously, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to do a few extra things here. I want to see if we can bring out a little bit. Now, I'm just looking up in the sky. I want to bring up some of that warmth up in the sky. And the added benefit is I got some warmth here in the grass. Now, if you don't like what you're seeing in the grass, come on over here. One under the hand is the brush tool. And you can either click on this little hollow brush and that will make this a minus, or if you're on the brush tool, you can, what I do is I size it up with the right bracket key, and I just hold my alter option, and you can see it turns it in, and then I could actually paint that out if I wanted to. But I'm not in this instance, because I liked it, so I'm going to hit Command Z, and we'll put it back in there. And uh, I think the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add a Curves, Adjustment, see if we can bump the contrast just a little bit in this. Not much. Okay. Okay, and maybe we'll just take the opacity down a little bit. There, just give it a kind of a soft little touch. Okay, so that's the third example. Let's go into our last example here. And I'm going to come to one we did... Um, up on Steptoe Butte, which is a beautiful butte that looks over, kind of gives you a 360 of the entire Palouse area, which is about a 300 square mile area. So when you hear about the Palouse, it's, uh, it, it's quite a wide area with a lot of just kind of gravelly roads. There are paved roads, but then you can just get off and start exploring. 
So as you can see, kind of dull, flat. I really love this little red barn down in here and we had an interesting sky. So let's see what we can do with it. By the way, not a bad histogram up here either. So let's go to artificial intelligence. Let's give it a boost. Okay, and then the next filter, I want to see if we can bring out a little bit of the golden hour here. Now you're seeing it's, it's really bringing up those greens on the bottom. So here's where I'd go over and grab my brush. And I would probably take that out of there. So I'm going to bracket up, hold the Alter Option key, and paint down that effect on the green. Okay, just like so. Now I don't have to, I don't have to paint that whole thing down. I, I could let's Command Z and back out of there. What if we just take the opacity and turn it down to about oh 25 percent? Now I'm going to hold this and we'll just take a little bit of this green out of here. There we go. Okay. Pretty cool. So anyway, that is the new Luminar Neptune. I highly recommend it. Again, if you go to my website, www.donsmithphotography.com, click on the discounts and affiliations, and it will get you right there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you get yourself a copy of Luminar. Those of you on PC, hang in there. It's coming out in a couple months. And if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. Don at DonSmithPhotography.com. If you're looking for instruction, go to my website, click on my workshop links. Our fall workshops are really filling up fast. We do have a few spots open and available. Would love to meet you and work with you and get you out on location to see some of these beautiful sites that we see. So until next month, please take care.